Hello, this is Satsuya. In this video, we will discuss how we can configure Wildfly with Keycloak adapter. This exercise is tested on Windows 10. You must have at least Java 8 installed with Java Home set in your environment variable. Before we begin, download the following artifacts. Keycloak. Go to keycloak.org slash downloads and download the latest server edition which is 10.0.2. Don't forget to download the Keycloak adapter as well. Take note of the Wildfly version that is currently supported. In this case, it's 19. Wildfly. Now, go to wildfly.org slash downloads and download the version which is compatible with the Keycloak adapter that we have just downloaded. So, we will be downloading version 1910 final. Once we have the three artifacts, it's now time to extract and configure both Keycloak and Wildfly. Let's begin with Keycloak. Extract the Keycloak server on your local computer. Open Keycloak Home slash standalone slash configuration folder. Open standalone.xml configuration in your favorite text editor. Search for the port offset word and replace the value with 1. By default, both Keycloak and Wildfly run on port 8080. Thus, we need to update one of them so there won't be any conflict. We can now run Keycloak by going to Keycloak Home slash bin and run standalone.bat. Now, we will begin configuring the Keycloak server. Open your favorite browser and navigate to http colon slash slash localhost colon 8081 it will greet us with the administration console user interface where we need to define the admin user let's enter admin admin and log into the system now we are inside the keycloak administration console where we can define our realm and client Let's create a new realm Satsuya Tech and a public client web. Note that the confidential client might be deprecated soon, so avoid using it. In the client page, open the installation tab and select Keycloak OIDC JSON. This is the configuration that we normally save as keycloak.json and import on our web project that has keycloak dependency. Next, it's time to configure our Wildfly server. Like keycloak, extract Wildfly on your local machine. Copy keycloak Wildfly adapter distribution inside the extracted folder. Let's take a look at what's inside this adapter. It contains the Keycloak module, docs, and binaries needed to install Keycloak as a Wildfly module. Let's begin extracting the adapter and make sure that the Keycloak module is successfully created. To check if the files were properly extracted, go to modules and look at system add-ons and here we have the Keycloak folder. We will install the Keycloak adapter by running a JBoss CLI command. But before that, it is important to know that you can change the Keycloak profile where you want to install the adapter by editing Wildfly Home, bin, adapter install offline.cli. For instance, if we wanted to use Wildfly's messaging and cache feature, then we need to use the standalone pool.xml configuration. Run a terminal 
and navigate where you extracted wildfly and execute the following command jboss-cli.bot dash dash file equals adapter dash install dash offline dot cli hit enter and we have successfully installed the keycloak module inside wildfly let's create a wildfly admin user navigate to the wildfly bin folder and run add user dot bot select management user and continue from the admin and if it already exists update it let's enter the password admin which is obviously not good but it is not for this exercise you can leave the group blank and continue let's run wildfly by running standalone.bat and like keycloak we can access it on the browser with url http colon slash slash localhost colon 8081 click the administration console and enter the wildfly credentials that we have used earlier admin admin hit enter and this is the wildfly admin interface where we can configure the wildfly server and do deployments as well that concludes this video if you are looking for more information on how to use the setup I will provide some links below that use Keycloak to secure a Java EE deployment in Wildfly. If you're also working as a programmer, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon as I upload programming related videos every now and then, which might be helpful to you. Thank you for watching it.